Hazur, in the past we have seen examples of prophets and khulafa who as well as being religious leaders also had political authority. My question is, if you were given the opportunity to have political authority, would you accept it? You see, in the past, not all the prophets were given political authorities. Eh? In Islam, the Holy Prophet was the prophet who had the religious authority, final of the prophets, and political authority, and he was head of the state as well after migrating to Medina, not before that time. When he was in Makkah, he was in persecuted and being tortured very brutally, right? He and his companion. So, and then after his demise, four rightly guided Khulafa, Khulafa Rashdin, also had the political authority. And later on, the system of Khilafat was not as fair as it should be, or as it should have to be, right? But now, in the time of the Prophet Muhammad neither Prophet Muhammad as a prophet, of subordinate prophet of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu nor his Khulafa has, will have that political authorities. All the political, all the countries will be run by their political governments or by their governments to run their affairs, right? And Khalifa of the time will be the spiritual head of those countries. This is why it is written in the Quran that if two Muslim countries, two Muslim parties fight with each other, then try to settle down their matters. And if they stop fighting, then well and good. Otherwise, the person who is committing uh, cruelty, attacking, un making unfair attack on the neighboring country or the Muslim country, then stop his hands by force. And the Khalifa of the time will ask the other governments that you will do it. So the Khalifa of the time now will only be the spiritual leader. He has nothing to do with the politics of the country. But the, the heads of the states will seek guidance from the Khalifa of the time.